Hi, this is Chris from Paracord Planet. Today we are going to be making the asymmetrical border bar paracord bracelet. And uh, what you're going to need to start that out with is um, two colors of paracord. Uh, I've got six feet of each color here in a uh, golden rod and an electric blue. I have a fid, just in case. I have a trusty ruler, I have scissors, and I have my lighter. So what we're going to do is take our buckle, uh, 3 8 inch buckle um, is what I'm using this time. Uh, might be able to go a little bit bigger than this because the bracelet is a little bit wider than, than a normal uh, bracelet that I've been doing, but we're going to give it a shot see how it works. So first off what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, blue cord. Well, first you want to do is weld those together. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm assuming that you know how to do that now. This is not the first one that you have uh, watched. I am going to push the cord through the buckle here from the top. If I can get it through that hole there. Might use my fin to do that. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. There we go. Get it not. So I'm going to pull a little bit more out of there. Instead of running my cord through, I'm going to just loop it over the top. And I'm going to pull it through. Um, I'm going to make that weld point a little bit higher up on the bracelet. And then uh, Set you tight a little bit. Yeah, nice tight. So there you go. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna move that out of the way so you can actually see it. The blue on blue doesn't help you, does it? So there we go. One half. Uh, we're going to find the other end of the cord, keeping it all straight and not tangled up like this mess. We are going to push that through the other side from the bottom this time and pull it all the way through until you reach the length that you want to make your paracord bracelet. Um, at that point you can open it up, you can use your handy dandy ruler, find out the length that you're going to be doing. Not quite that big. Let's do eight and a half. So, there we go. At that point, you've got your length of cord that you're going to make the bracelet out of. You have two strands on each side. What I'm going to start with first is actually a Solomon bar. Um, just to get that first part started. Um, without it, it, it uh, makes it a little bit too loose uh, and it'll wickle back and forth on the buckle. So what you do is you take one side, I'm going to do the blue, put it under the other side. I'm going to take the other strand, I'm going to go over, under, sorry, that's not right. I'm going to go under, over, and through. Pull it and cinch that tight. It doesn't have to be super tight, but as tight as you like it. That's one side of it, and now we're going to do the other side of it. So this time I'm going to go over. This side is going to go over that one, under the back of those two, and up through the middle. Pull that through, and there you have your Solomon part. It's a nice way to start the bracelet. Um, I'm not going to make it very tight uh, just because the bracelet is wider and it tends to taper the bracelet a little bit too much when you make it too uh, too tight. So there you go with your colors. But what I am going to do now is start the braid that we're going to use to make this border bar. So you got the two colors. Um, what you're first going to do is go through the back and make a loop. 
on one side. It's going to go through this side, through the middle, I should say, right there. And you're going to pull that cord through. Um, I like to bring it up a little closer to where it should go. What I'm looking for uh, in this bracelet is this little X, or this little box that's made right here. I want to keep them all lined up. I want to keep them all the same size. Um, if you don't do that, your bracelet will end up uh, looking smaller on one side or larger on the other. It'll start to twist one side or the other, is what I've noticed anyway. So once you've got that, you take the other strand, you do over the top of the strand going across. You're going to go under, up through the middle, pull it through, over the top of the other side, and here's where you take this, you make a small little loop, and you push it through. And you can pull that all the way through. So when you get done, it looks something like that. Looks a little difficult, but it really isn't too bad. So now I take this and I push it all the way up. See that little box that it made right there? And I cinch these up just a little bit. The secret that I learned for this uh, this weave is to not over tighten it. The tighter you make it, the every time I've tried to make one that's tight, the worse it looks. So. And there you go. There's the first one. So that's the start of it. Try and make everything at least the same tightness or whatever and go from there. And now we're going to do the same thing. Um, what I've noticed is you take the same color and do it over and over again. So this time blue again underneath the back, up through the middle, and across. Now I'm doing the gold over the top of the blue, up through the middle, over the gold, and then you can make the loop and go up through the center, or if you prefer, you can just take the end of your cord and push it up through the middle. Either way works. It's just easier if you uh, do the loop through the loop, just because uh, the cords are closer together. So now I'm going to see that box again. I'm going to pull these slowly tighter just to get them to look the way they're supposed to. doesn't have to be very tight. Over tightening again is not the way to go with this bracelet. So there's really the start of it starting to take shape and you just keep doing the same thing. Make the loop under the first one, over the second one. I like to bring it up close. Pull it through. Next one is over the top of the blue. Under the gold. Up through the middle. Over the top of that second one. Make the loop underneath, go through the hole. Pull the cord. Straighten up where that box should be. And slowly tighten everything. It does take a little bit of patience. It's not something you just whip together like a cobra or anything like that. You do need to take a little time with it. And make sure everything is lined up. But anyway, that's what you do. You just continue down the bracelet and uh, it starts to take shape all the way down. And uh, what I'll do now is I'll go and I'll stop video, finish it up, come back and uh, show you how to finish it up. So here we are at the end of our bracelet. Um, we're going to do another Solomon just to finish it up a little bit. Uh, that way it is clean at the bottom and we can just uh, tie it off, cut it, melt it. So here we go. This is what it looks like. Turned out pretty decent. Lights, colors, uh, some symmetry is pretty decent. Um, 
a little bit iffy here and there, but I'll call it good. Anyway, so here we go. Solomon bar at the end. Um, take the one side. We're going to go underneath blue over the top of that one. No, I'm doing that backwards. Over the top, over the top, under, through that hole. Yeah, it's funny that I can do this other one pretty simple, and I have a simple, and I have a hard time doing the other one. The solid. Okay, we can do the same thing again. Over the top, over the top, under through the hole. Tighten it up. Tell them about our. Okay, so here we go. And how I end up this, then a lot of people will just cut this in, cut this in, send them and be done with it. I like to make them a little cleaner than that. So what I'm going to do, find the end of my yellow here. I'm going to take my fit and screw that on. I'm going to push it through that second part. One, two. All the way through. Make sure that it's not twisted so it lays flat. There we go. And I will do the same to the blue one. So we both head in the same spot. Pull through. That should be good. So now all we need to do is cut them off at that spot. Take our handy dandy lighter. Solid. Well, there you have it. 